Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Um, I wanted to do a quick unboxing video of my new carbon fiber tripod. This is the small rig AP10. I'm not crazy that it's Chinese, I think, but and I didn't realize that when I bought it, but you know, regardless, uh, it's it's a uh, very lightweight. 2.6 pounds, I believe, carbon fiber. I was couldn't sleep one night and I was uh, browsing YouTube and I came across a tripod review. And this one really caught my eye. It's lightweight, it looks pretty decent. It will support my uh, GFX uh, uh, 50R and 100S in addition to my other X gear. So here it is, uh, it's coming out of the bag, uh, nice little bag though I don't use them, I uh, really don't use these bags, you know, I, I just don't. So anyway, I'll put that away with the box, uh, instruction manual here, a couple keys for the legs and the head. It comes with the ball head. I have two ball heads, I have two tripods, the one that I'm filming on now, it's a little Sarui. Uh, T005KX is very lightweight. I can use it in a in uh, for my GFX gear, like for example, the uh, 100S with the 100 to 200 zoom. It's not very stable. I had to uh, strap around my neck just in case. So, but I'm hoping this one will replace the Sarui and my super heavy duty. Uh, like six foot uh, Sarui that I keep in it. Actually, all these are usually kept in my truck, so it's not a problem. But anyway, here it is. Uh, the beauty of this one is this part right here unscrews. This becomes a monopod slash walking stick, which is really slick. And I am truly amazed at the lightweight feel of this tripod. It's got a beautiful finish. <clears throat> Quick release legs. I prefer the uh, uh, the knurled, uh, you know, thingy-majiggies, but unfortunately this is what I had to get. They, they look kind of plasticky, I will say. I'm hoping they hold up. I shoot a, a lot around uh, salt water and sand. So we'll see how this holds up. I'll be away for three weeks, uh, leaving next week. I'll be shooting in salt water. Uh, so we'll see how this holds up. The head looks pretty lightweight. You know, we'll see how that holds up. Uh, I have uh, the L brackets on my uh, both my cameras, the 50R and the 100S, as well as my X-H2 and X-T2 and X-T1. Anyway, all the bodies have the L brackets, so I'm assuming it's going to fit here, and it should. Uh, that's pretty standard stuff. I love the feel of these knobs. I, I, I really like the extra size. The tripod that I'm shooting this on has a little one, kind of partly knurled, but I got to tell you, it's a finger crusher. Uh, I, I hate the darn thing. And I've had this tripod since two, the one that's the one that's filming this video on. I've had it since 2014, and uh, it gets thrown around, chucked, kicked, you name it. It still works, so that's gonna stay in my vehicle as well. Uh, I love this. This is something that I kind of wanted. Really smooth, silky, and just instant lock. That's it. The one that I'm shooting on now has another neural knob that you have to turn, which I wasn't real crazy about. It's a small rig ball head. Uh, the one that I have on here is a Sirui, and the one that's on my other huge tripod is very heavy, is uh, in a, a third party brand, a name brand. But this looks, you know, pretty, pretty good. It, it does open up all, all the way out, as you can see. And the beauty of, of this tripod is it does not have a center column. No center column, which I actually do not use. I, I don't think I've ever used a center column. And I wind up removing them from my tripod. So this looks 
pretty good. Uh, it, it's the small rig AP10. And be careful because there's a couple different brands. But I'm going to try it. I'll, I'll try to do a quick on-site review when I'm on the road. Uh, I kind of like the monopod slash walking stick feature here. Uh, this just unscrews, I guess. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, right? I guess that's it. And I can put a ball head on here or I can uh, uh, just screw this into the camera, I'm assuming. I, you got me. But anyway, I doubt if I'm going to use that. It's a nice little gimmick. Uh, it's, again, super lightweight. Feels pretty good, looks great. Um, the legs open up all the way flat, so I can actually lay it down on a uh, on a on a flat surface, literally, with just this. Let's see, let's see if I can do this here. Okay, let's see here. Bear with me a second, guys. I'm sorry. There we go. Look at that. Not bad, huh? And it actually can go lower. Just don't, you know. I I didn't want to hold you all up. And uh, seems to be pretty, pretty smooth. I, I, I like the, I like the nods. I, I love, I love the feel. Uh, locks in place. Really sweet little gear. Little, little tripod. How high does it go? Don't really care because rarely, if ever, do I extend the tripod all the way up. So, again, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I will try to do a video while I'm out. Hopefully, I'll be able to encounter different weather scenarios, wind, etc. And we'll go from there. It's a little bit stiff, but, you know, again, it's new. Should fit in my camera bag on the outside pretty nicely. I am, uh, yo, yeah, look at that. Tiny. Look at that, guys. All right. But anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes.